Okay, car hater here. Eh, I figured I'd just do a video. I'm not really going to hate on this big monster because you know what? It's American. It's real deal. They own this SUV thing. This one's the extended version. This one's, uh, believe it or not, 2001 GMC. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Chevy. What am I saying? Chevrolet Suburban. Yeah, same difference, GMC, whatever. You know what's nice about these full gauges? This one has 138,000 miles. These things still hold their value. You know what the older ones, a lot of people like them. Uh, this this is Phil from uh, Crazy Dro Joe's, his truck. It also has the one previous for it too, a Tahoe. This one's extended all the way back. You got the uh, cool barn doors back there. And I needed it because I got to go to Home Depot and pick up something for the kitchen. Uh, something that's um, for the cabinetry to fill in a little space on the refrigerator that I got put in. And, um, yeah, what am I going to do? What am I going to use? The Buick Encore? I could fucking put the Encore in the back of this thing. So, yeah, you know what? These things definitely do serve a great purpose. Uh, if you have a lot of people, you know, you have that, that row all the way in the back. What's crazy about these two, and I'll put it all the way back there, they could actually probably fit a fourth row in this thing, you know, without a doubt. How these things ride? A bed, you know? It's a little, you know, it's not so silky smooth. You know, I noticed like the Sierra drives uh, a little bit smoother than this thing. Then again, the, you know what? It's a little cold out. Maybe the, the pressure in the tires. It's got the bigger rims on this thing anyway. Figured I'd check in, do a video. Like I said, I, I really don't have much to hate on on this. Because you know what? This isn't some fucking Japanese bullshit or something like that where it's trying to be something that's not. Look, heated seats. This thing was probably big bucks back in the day. I mean, the new ones, it's crazy how much they want for these things. You know, 60 grand basically to start. Then you have like fully loaded all the way up 85,000 in these. Of course, we know the Escalade, you know, a buck and change on a lot of them. So, American vehicles, you know what's so uh, weird is that American vehicles are just as much as the European counterparts. They're really up there. So, today it's a whole new, I don't know, it's like a whole new genre of like, let me rip you the fuck off. So it's like, hey, do you want a status symbol with a badge on the front? Or do you want something that's really uh, utility-based like this? But yet, it's still worth the same money. You know, you tell people how much these things cost brand new. They're like, what? No way. They just don't see it. But that's uh, basically every vehicle out there, really. It, it, the whole market is just way over um, saturated with high-end vehicles of these prices that are just ridiculous. How the fuck do people afford it? That's a lot of money. You know, a truck like this brand new, got to figure $9,000 a month, however you want to swing it. So something to think about. Anyway, quick car hater. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I guess I'm just fucking rambling just, just to do a video because everybody says I don't do no fucking videos. All right. So there it is.